Hello, hello, hello. I'm coming to you all today with the uh, UV resin video. Okay, so we're going to get started. And I'm going I'm gonna to put a thin layer of just clear resin in the mold. Okay, and I'm gonna take my stick and, and I'm gonna um, kind of spread it out good as possible because I noticed with this mold right here, when I put my UV light on it, it tends to get hot. So I'm just gonna get, do real thin layers. If it's not covered in a place, the next time I do a layer, it will be covered. So just a thin layer. I'll take my heat gun to it because it's a I'm going to try to add it to the spots that um, there's none. Just so it can be a thin layer and it'll cure better. And I've learned also with UV resin it's better to do real thin layers versus you know, doing a whole big pour at one time. Okay, and once again. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna add some crushed glass. So I'm gonna put down a little more resin. See, I'm just doing it in thin layers. Now I'm going to put down the crushed glass. It's just um, Ashland decorative filler that I got from Michaels. I want to use enough but not too much because I don't want it to be sticking up out of the resin because it does have sharp edges. And this is for myself and I just I don't want to get cut. So right now I'm just making sure the glass is down. It's not going to be sticking up and it's distributed around the letter. Okay. Now I'm going to use it. Now I know that's cured. It is. And so I'm going to take a little bit of resin and put it here because I want to put a little color on the backing. Just a little bit. I think that's enough. And I'm going to use um, I think I'm going to use this blue. So I'm going to use blue. At the alcohol ink. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there not too much so with the alcohol I think I'm just gonna oh ooh, that was too much I did not mean for that to happen all I did I wanted to turn it so one drop could drop but those many dropped let's see what's gonna happen Wow, that is real blue. Okay, let's pour it in here and see what's gonna happen. Okay, 
I'm going to set this to the side. And I'm going to use the same cup. I, I'm going to have to do something else with that. So I'm going to have a little more. Put a little more resin in here. And I need some white. I think I have white pigment over here. I have another stick somewhere. Oh. So in here, I'm going to mix this. It's white, but it's not white. Like it's like a giving it a little blue effect because I have that blue in there. So I'm gonna, okay, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is just drop a couple drops here and there. And then I'm gonna come with the resin and just put little droppers. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put it on one for right now to see how it looks. But not the bubble. That's not doing anything, so. Oh, I don't know, it gave it, it did something. But that's okay, I'll leave the rest as is. And we're gonna go ahead and do the countdown again. Okay, so now I'm going to put one more layer, just a clear coat of UV resin on top of this for stability. I know it's a lot of steps involved in this and it's going to pay off. The results are going to be beautiful. It's like when working with resin, you have to take your time. If you go too fast, you'll destroy your piece and I've done that before. Just trying to you know go too fast and use too much believe me a little goes a long way okay curing again that it is fully cured before I take it from out of this mold so what I'm gonna do is flip the mold over just like that it's not gonna hurt my table or anything and then I'm gonna put this on there Let's see. Okay. So now I'm going to take it out of the mold. Demolding. But we're not finished. I have one more thing to show you. Give me a second, let me come back when this has cooled because it's still warm, okay? I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back and it has cooled down now. So this is the back. And, you know, the side. Yeah, the front. Now, like I said, I could just leave it like this, but I have one more step that I want to do. I have this film right here. It's called, it comes in a, in a roll like this. I can't, I can't show you the big roll, but it's real big. You see, I bought mine off of Amazon. This is, 
this is what it is. Okay. So I bought mine off Amazon, but I was inside of the Dollar Tree, like everything else a dollar, and I saw some, but I didn't pay no attention. I'm like, you know what? I already bought mine off Amazon. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to, you know, do what it have to do. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have, you, you're going to be able to see the illusion once I do this. Okay. So I'm just going to put a thin layer of resin. Of the UV resin on here just the thin layer coat it real lightly I don't know if I've used this paintbrush or what but we're gonna try with okay so I want to make sure I have everything covered and everything is sticky because UV resin is sticky I'm going to take the letter and I'm going to flip it over onto here and then I'm pressing down. Okay, so now that it's pressed down, I'm going to bring this over, but I'm going to keep my hands in here with the press down because I want to make sure everything gets on like it gets stuck. So I want everything to be stuck. So now, as you can see, back that up. It's stuck on here, like it's stuck. And I'm gonna run it through again on this side for 60 seconds on the high. Now, so this is what um, the opposite side of the letter is gonna look like. So I think that's pretty cool. It has that glass in it, but now you can't see the glass because of the blue and the little white droppings I put in there. So you can't see the glass. But now what we're going to do is we're going to peel this off of this. Peel the letter off of the film. Hold on one second. Okay. So here is the letter. It's one of the bigger ones that already comes with the hole already in it. So now I'm going to um, just get some things and make it a keychain. I like to use these. Um, I think I think they're called triangle um, jump rings. I'm I'm not for sure what they're called, but they're easy because you slide them in. You know what? Let me go ahead and put. Hold on. Let me do this first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me put this on there first. And that way I don't have to worry about hook, hooping that on. So then I just put that in there like that. And I close my pliers up and see if I can push on it. Believe me, it's strong. There we go. So now I have it like that, but I'm going to take the pliers and I'm going to try to squeeze a little more. And I don't know if you can see in that little hole or not that it's together. Okay. And it's very strong. So I don't know if you can see that effect or not. I think that is so pretty. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next video.